Hi everyone, in my last video, I reviewed this abomination of a radio called the QFX R9 multi-band receiver. And I actually had this radio exchanged earlier today, and it was actually a little bit worse. Uh, the uh, FM dial was actually off a little more than the original radio I reviewed. So I figured... I better just take this radio part and look inside just to see if any of you can figure out how bad this radio looks. Now, I'm no engineer, I'm no technician, so I'm no expert. So here it is. There's a plastic here, but it only shows the numbers for FM, medium wave, and the meter bands itself, but not the frequency numbers of the shortwave. That's for the other part of the radio. We'll get to that in a little bit. But here's the inside of it. You gotta be careful here. Here it is. There's the back of the speaker here with some wires attached. More wires attached on top. That is the ferret bar antenna. And uh, the way they glued it and all looks a real shoddy job to me. There's not much to this radio. There's a little more to this part of the radio. Oops. Don't want to break the wires. Here are the numbers here. The frequency shortwave numbers are here. It misses parts of the dial, but... Especially below 5.95... This is where you switch the bands. When I'm touching right here, I can't take it too close or else it will not focus. It's just this little card here. I don't know what that is. And then you have your tuning indicator here, some sort of metal. Then you have your tuning wheel here, which looks pretty flimsy in my opinion, and very wobbly. There's a wire sticking out. I'll get to that in the back of the radio. This green light is your... I want to check. Yeah. The green light here is your AM indicator, and the red is your FM indicator. Then, then the button next to the green one is where these buttons work, your AM, FM buttons. So the AM would somehow have these touch the button here, the black button. And then the other black button is for FM. Your on-off volume switch here. The uh, headphone jack here which I never used, and your DC adapter here. Oh, yeah, there's a few other parts here. I'm not going to be able to go too deep in here. Maybe I from this angle. Yeah, not much to see on that angle. I'm not able to do it. So, I'm going to turn it around. Yeah, this is correct. Now, of course, this is where your batteries go, right here. Um, mile number R9, production date, December 15th, 2017. Wow, less than a year ago. And then, this little wire here... Is where you get your reception. I've experimented it with a longer wire. And that is where you get your reception. And I think somehow this is supposed to attach. I think. To this antenna. I think so. But. I don't think this is going to work anymore. Now that I've taken the radio apart. 
there's a screw to it, to this hole of the antenna here. Okay. So yeah, this is where you get your reception here. And then I just wanted to show you the rest of the board here. I'm no experience, so I don't know what kind of a job they did. And what about... Uh, just a bunch of serial numbers on these two things here. And... I think that's pretty much it. Um, Almost it. Yep, here's the part where you have your volume off headphone and DC adapter here, AM and FM buttons, DX local switch here, this uh, big screw goes here, the, uh, this is a door to the, um, to open your battery compartment, and then here's the inside of the back of the radio here, that's where the big screw goes right here. And then the back of the radio here. Well, that's it for that presentation. Um, so, please. <laughs> never buy this radio. I wouldn't give this radio to a child. To try to inspire him into radio. If you want a real radio, spend the extra money, spend the $15, $16, or in my case, $20 for this radio. The Supersonic SE1080BT, I bought at a local electronics store, $20 including tax, so there was no additional tax, $20 including tax, and I'm happy with it, and I will be doing a review on this um, soon. So, that is it. Hope you enjoyed uh, Inside the $7 Radio QFX R9. Have a good week, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.